welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's a super highly requested video of what's in my hospital bag i am currently 39.1 weeks pregnant um and i actually went for a sweep today my midwife offered me a sweep because i've been having like twinges and <laughs> contractions i'm still full of cold by the way um I've been having like contractions and like a lot of movement and things like that so we just thought why not give it a go and it turns out I'm actually three centimeters so I thought oh my god I better get this video done because you never know it could come any day now um but I'm just going to be basically showing you what I'm taking obviously it's each their own some people probably think this is way too much some people think it's not enough it's entirely up to you in my opinion what you want to take to the hospital what's going to make you feel comfortable for obviously such a vulnerable time for you um sorry about that why do dogs always back at the wrong time so yes as I was saying you know this might not be what everyone would take i've just obviously this is my second baby um and with my first son um i got induced it was all a bit of a mess um <laughs> it was like a two-day extravaganza so this time i'm just trying to think of ways to help me feel comfortable um because hopefully i'll have like obviously a more natural birth in terms of my contractions coming on naturally my water's breaking naturally is what i'm hoping for um so just basically how that might obviously things might help me feel a bit more relaxed more comfortable more at home i'm gonna tighten it now um but yeah i'm gonna show you what i've packed for my son what i've packed for the baby what i've packed for myself um and also a little gift that i've got them each as well so if that is something that you'd like to see please keep watching um and i hope you enjoy Okay, so firstly, I want to give another massive thank you to something a little different. I think it's called something a little bit different on Instagram. Um, they sent me this bag and this suitcase. And honestly, it was filled with the most amazing things. I did um, do a story on my Instagram, so I'll try and link little snips of obviously what they sent me. But it was literally just like, you get a little checklist with it. It has like all these like gorgeous things inside that you'll need, like nappies, muslin cloths, a dressing gown for yourself, like it's honestly the thought of everything so i was really really appreciative of this so i've popped all my things in here i've got Auburn's little tiger suitcase as you can see here um and then also the boys little gifts to each other on top of his cot here don't mind the bed and i need to sort his bed out um but the presents that i went for were just something super simple so i've got this welcome to the world one which i'm going to give to Auburn to give to his brother um, and then I've also got You're the Biggest, so that one's going to be from the baby to Arbin. Um, and then I've got my um, two boys matching dressing gowns, which are the most cutest little thing. So I got them from my first years, and they come in this gift box like this. I really should have thought this through. I've like got his mobile all over the place. Um, but yeah, so it's basically two blue dressing gowns. Obviously, one's a newborn size that says Little Brother. And one is Auburn size that says Big Brother. And honestly, this just melts my heart. I can't wait to get them both bathed. You know, have them all snuggled up, read their stories to each other. Or have them dressed the same. I can't wait. So yeah, so that is the little gift that I've got for them to give to each other. Okay, so I'll start off with what's in the baby's bag. So this is baby's stuff here. And then I've got my stuff in the suitcase. And then obviously Auburn's stuff in his little suitcase, which isn't much, but just something that I could grab if obviously all goes to plan so i'm gonna open this one up and i've packed all sorts in here like it literally can barely shut um so first of all what i've got here is a little um swaddle blanket this actually came with the bag so i was super grateful for this because i was looking for um a nice big swaddle blanket and i actually love this one it's super gorgeous color um so that's obviously just in case baby likes to be swaddled obviously some babies do some babies don't so we'll see how he goes but obviously it's a gorgeous little blanket as well so i've got that secondly i have is another little blanket i'm trying to make sure you can't see this has actually got his name on so i'm excited to wrap him in this um just a little tightening um i'm excited to wrap them in this and take his little picture with his little name on um i got this from what company did i get this from the cozy crew club and honestly they have the cutest little teddy bear things like i absolutely love the cream and the brown the teddy bears and things this time around so i absolutely love that one so a little blanket for him then i picked up these bags from amazon and honestly these are just a game changer because obviously when you're in labour 
you're trying to stay focused you're not trying to obviously explain to everyone where everything is, is in like baby's bag in your bag what you need um so i decided to just literally bag everything separately for the same for me and for the baby and um, and just write on what's in them so this is his little coat so it's like an all-in-one um coat thing obviously just in case it's cold when we leave the hospital i can pop this in him on him um so that's like our all-in-one coat that i've got how many times do you want to say coat um and then i've got in here bibs and muslin cloths so i've just put a few in so i've got a couple of little bibs <laughs> like this and then i've also got um a few little muslin cloths as well i've got another two in there so i've got about five all together um in there obviously i am hoping that i'm not going to be in the hospital too long this is my second baby so i'm hoping he just flies out and i can go home but you never know but i've got five muslins and bibs in there and i've got socks and hats in this one so again it's just like labeled um so my mum actually found this little hat how gorgeous is this so oh, tiny it says 50% mums, 50% dads, which I just think is so cute. Um, and then I've got like his little hat with the bobbles on. Um, some little booties in there as well. And then I've also got a couple of little pairs of socks because you just never know. Um, so that's those in there. And then next, what have I got? Next, I've got vests and baby grows obviously you can never have too many vests and baby grows you never know when there's going to be a punami explosion you never know they might wet the nappy through you just don't know obviously what size your baby's going to come out and i've only got newborn nappy sizes um so obviously if he's a big baby which they're telling me is going to be quite big um i might actually need to upgrade those so but i have got just some plain i've got a plain white baby grown here which obviously you can never go wrong with a gorgeous plain white baby grow these are all obviously washed um and ready to go as well so i've just basically rolled them up in here and then i've got a couple of zip up onesies in here as well um just for quickness but i've got a brown one and a cream one so that's three i think three baby grows and also three or five vests i've put in as well just plain short sleeved vests like so obviously if i need any more i can always like ring like my sister or something who would happily pop some up for me if i do need to stay and i can send michael home but for now i thought you know that would be enough next i have milk so um i didn't breastfeed with auburn so i'm probably not gonna do this time i tend to just i just basically like to see how i feel at the time um with auburn i never got the urge to breastfeed and that's just obviously each to your own if you want to breastfeed i'm absolutely happy for you go for it if you don't want to breastfeed that's absolutely fine as well i hate the stigma over breastfeed and not breastfeeding um but i'm going to take some milk anyway so i've got these little bottles here um so i'm going to sterilize a bottle obviously as well to take but these ones are so handy because obviously when baby's first born um they don't drink that much milk and things like that anyway so having these so you can just tip it in um warm up and things like that. sorry guys i'm not sure where that cut off there but i think i was talking about my snacks so yeah so i've got a bag of snacks in here so i've got basically just like breakfast bars um chocolate one and a peanut one i've also got chocolate chip no it's not kit kat chunky um in there so basically just a little bag of snacks just in case my energy drops and i feel like i need a bit of a pick me up because my i was really bad with auburn i didn't eat barely anything when i was having strong contractions from getting induced i didn't want to eat and i do feel like that affected my energy and things um i have two bottles of lucasade as well because you just never know hope a few people have told me to take lucasade so i've got them in there and then also just a bunch of um nipple covers obviously if i do breastfeed i'll need them and if i don't sometimes your nipples leak as well which to be honest i didn't have any leakage with auburn so i don't even know if i got milk in but i've got them just in case in there as well okay and then in the bottom of the bag here there's also another little zip and in here is basically just wipes cotton wool and nappies i won't get them out because it's pretty explanatory um, but i've got another plastic bag just full of nappies and then i've got some water wipes water wipes are absolutely amazing um, and i've also got cotton wool to use obviously with water because obviously um the less you can use on baby skin when they're first born the better 
Okay, so the first thing that popped out once I opened up my case were these slippers. I haven't actually worn these yet, but I just picked them up from Primark the other day. Um, they're just like the wrap over slippers. I literally live in slippers like this. This is just a different colour. Um, but I just wanted to take a fresh pair at the hospital. Obviously, it's always handy um, to have a pair of slippers or a pair of socks with grippers on the bottom um, or like a pair of sliders or a pair of Crocs or something like that. So I will be taking my Crocs as well hate them I love them they're bloody comfortable um so I'm going to take them as well but also slippers for once I've give birth um if I just want to be more comfortable I don't know if they'll be in there overnight um so yeah so I've got a pair of gorgeous fluffy slippers I have this dressing gown which I have washed and this is what also came with the bag which I was so grateful for it's just like a nice toweled um dressing gown um and it's also got mummy written on it so I just thought that was the cutest little idea um so I washed that one and packed that as well again a dressing gown so handy you never know if you get a bit chilly through the night um if you you know maybe if you want a water birth maybe you want to get out the water and you want something to quickly shut on um or like you say once you've give birth and you're staying that you're staying in there overnight you might want to just shut your dressing gown on your slippers walk to the toilet and back and things like that so a dressing gown it never goes to miss as well next i have a bag of i don't even know what's in here toiletries i want to say um i also have a comb i actually have two combs i need to put my other one in um i've heard a lot of things about this comb situation where basically when you're having strong contractions if you squeeze the comb it's supposed to kind of trick your brain into focusing more on that pain versus the pain that you've got in your tummy or your back um so i've got two combs to take which will be for that and my hair um so i've got that one and also this one so i can just sit there and be like ah, <laughs> hopefully not um so yeah so two combs i've got to take um and then another i may as well obviously say this one as well while i'm on it another thing is a tens machine so i've never heard of this either um until this pregnancy so i haven't tried it i don't know what it's like um but i've just heard that this is another thing that is a good pain reliever um to you know you can pop it on your back and hopefully it will again distract your brain focus more on what this is doing versus the contractions i've heard a lot of people have had really good pain relief with this so i've got that to try as well so i've got my tens machine and my combs um as two little um basically gadgets that i didn't have with Auburn to distract me from the pain um and then i've got a little bag of goodies here so i've got a little a little packet of makeup wipes just to like freshen up obviously if i need to vaseline so this is super important because obviously when you're in labor and you're breathing and you're trying to focus on things like that um you might not be eating as much as normal and stuff but vaseline because your lips will get super dry so you want to pack yourself some vaseline i have a little handy dandy toothbrush in here and a little handy dandy toothpaste just obviously in case um i've got a little deodorant um a little body wash i'm not obviously planning on washing my hair at the hospital because i just think i couldn't be thinking of anything worse than trying to wash all of this hair after i've just had a baby so i am going to just take some dry shampoo and hopefully my hair will be fresh anyway um before i give birth so that is my plan with that but i've also got some hair bubbles some hair grips because obviously again if i shot my hair up in a bun or something and um, and also a hair clip just in case of something i can just grab um when i want to feel more comfortable and get my hair out of my face or even after birth and things like that as well and then next up i have my actual skincare so obviously i've got some makeup wipes in there just to freshen up and stuff but skincare for me is super important and i just find that obviously when I had Auburn I obviously was like a few years younger I hadn't really understood skincare yet and the feeling that having a decent skincare routine gives you obviously can make you feel so much better so these are my basically non-negotiables when it comes to skincare so I'll quickly go through what I've got here so first of all I've got my trusty dusty Lumi Spa if you haven't got a Lumi Spa yet my god 
you need one in your life this literally will change your life forever i absolutely love it i've been using the lumis bar now for the last three years and i just cannot go a day without it it brings my skin back to life gives me obviously a most amazing glow deep cleanse and it just makes me feel like alive again on the morning so i've got that and i've also got my moisture mist spray which i use to spritz my face this is also really nice if you just want to obviously when you are in labor as well or you can use it in the summer <clears throat> It's really good just to spritz yourself down. It's a bit like a cooling spray. Um, the cleanser to go with the Lumi Spa. Um, and then I've also got my toner. I absolutely love this one. This is the exfoliating toner. Um, and my moisturiser. So that's my basics in terms of skincare. And then the last one I've got in here is my Instaglow Tan. So I use this bad boy like every single day. It's so, so good. So if you're not wearing makeup... Um, but you just want to give your face like a little bit more of a glow it's the easiest thing so I'm actually wearing it today with a little bit of concealer and a bit of bronzer but I have no foundation on my skin and it literally just gives you the most amazing glow bit of color to your skin and obviously like you say when you're giving birth you're not probably going to look your best um so just doing a little bit of skincare putting a little bit of tan on your face just to give yourself a bit more color I'm hoping it's going to make me feel a bit better so that is my skincare non-negotiables in there <laughs> Next up we have these two gadgets here which I've literally just brought from the room which is why they look like this. So first of all is this little fan. Um, I need to figure out how this pretty works actually because I've had it on charge. I've just had to remember what is wrong with this fan. Aubin decided to put it in his kinetic sand um, and I thought I'd got it all out but I think he's actually broke it. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have to get on Amazon Prime and get me another little hand fan but obviously you will get hot you will get bothered um so a nice hand fan something like this um this one does come with a stand as well so you can just stand it around nearby so yeah a nice little handy dandy fan it would be a good idea and then also a long phone charger obviously when you're in hospital um you know you never know where the plugs are going to be or anything like that so i just find to be honest i use a long charger anywhere at home so i just make sure with that take my phone charger i recommend a long cable if you've got one just so then if you do need to let anyone know about baby's arrival or if you were bored and you want to scroll through your phone or something like that um you can do that as well or maybe you're listening to hypnobirthing or maybe you're watching a youtube video or something like that having a long charger is going to be beneficial for you as well so picking up or obviously watching youtube videos um listening to a podcast or music or anything like that i'm also taking my airpods um like you say again last time i wasn't very good at zoning out um and i feel like i'm just learning from obviously where i went wrong last time so i'm going to take my airpods this time try and listen to some like breathing techniques some nice music things that might make you feel just a little bit better um obviously and distract your mind a little bit so if you take your airpods as well that'll obviously help you from the distraction of like a busy hospital all the noises things like that just again make you feel a bit more comfortable the next two bits i've got i've actually never used this before but i did um get a tear no i didn't get a tear with auburn that cut me a little bit um, and obviously sometimes when you've been cut or have stitches it might sting a little bit in that area or it might sting anyway um, just because you just give birth like you just got a human out of there um, so I've heard of these bottles that are supposed to be really really good um, and it's basically just if you're doing a pee or if you're obviously like wanting to wash down there just for cleanliness and things you basically just fill this with water and obviously you can understand the <laughs> direction of where that water is going to go so you basically just fill it with water squeeze um, and that'll obviously help um with stinging and things in that area and then also spritz for bits again i didn't use this with orbin but i've heard amazing amazing things um so i'm going to take that along with me i was actually sent this and i can't wait to try it i've got um bath salts from expert midwife as well for recovery which i can't wait to use um so yeah taking some spritz for bits as well for down there some big ass underwear shall we just say um so i've got two bras in here i'm actually wearing one of these today i got this set from primark where you get the white one and then you get like a dark gray one and a pink one but they're basically just really comfortable bras obviously you're going to be sensitive and um, you're not going to want anything too tight and uncomfortable after you've given birth um so these are kind of like little sports bra type ones but really really soft and um, they are handy as well if you do want to breastfeed obviously they don't have the pull down but they are really easy to just stretch get the boob out or whatever um <clears throat> so i got those ones so again i've taken i'm taking the gray one and the white one for those 
Um, and then I'm also taking some sexy, sexy big knickers. <laughs> so again, um, these are so handy for after birth. Obviously, it's not about the luxury, it's about the comfort. Um, and at the end of the day, you want to be as comfortable as possible, but also have that security. Um, so I've taken those and I'm also taking these so i use these again with auburn i used the white ones but i got the black ones this time just what was available in the shop um but it's basically like a big nappy just to keep it as simple as possible um it does have a white lining as well because i've heard a few people say that they were worrying about whether you'd be able to see what comes away and things after birth but these ones do have a white line and so you'd be able to track what comes away and stuff like that but i basically enjoyed wearing these more um than a pad like a big pad in my underwear just because i feel like you've got more security you've got more obviously around you to keep everything in it's just more comfortable in my opinion than wearing a pad and having it swish around or you just never know so these obviously you stay in place you got that on knickers over the top you are good to go obviously you can just rip them off at the side and pop them in the bin so i'm taking a bag full of those um my knickers and my bras here i have a little bikini obviously i don't know if i'm gonna be in a pool or not um depends on how i obviously feel and if there's a room available and maybe i'd like to get in the water um but i basically just packed a super basic bikini in here um the reason i've done a bikini is obviously i probably won't have the bottoms on midwife will have to check what's going on and things like that but i have obviously put the bottoms in just in case um but just a super basic bikini top just to obviously keep my boobs away <laughs> um so I've just packed that as well again, just in case. With Auburn, I did go in the bath for a little bit. They didn't have a water birth like pool. Um, and obviously I was induced, so I wasn't allowed in anyway. But I obviously did get in the bath at one point just to try and ease the pain. Um, so yeah, nice little plain um, swimsuit if you've got one. Um, like you say, a two-piece so that you can take the bottoms off if midwife needs to check on you. An oversized t-shirt, some leggings and some socks, obviously in case. Obviously when i'm walking around and things like that or um after i've given birth to baby um depends obviously how i'm gonna feel so i've got my favorite comfortable leggings in there oversized t-shirt just for comfort um, and some socks to obviously come home in as well where this is this should be in baby's bag but obviously it couldn't fit but this is his coming home outfit um so i've got this separate to obviously the rest of it um, but I've got these gorgeous little booties. I actually got these from Matalan, but I think they're so cute. So I've got that for his coming home outfit. I've got the biggest, fluffiest hat, which actually Auburn chose to um, have him come home in. Michael bought him this, which is adorable. So I've got that for him to wear. I've got some um, mitts as well, because obviously their little fingers can scratch their face when they're born. Some socks in there. And then... I've just went for this really basic outfit just for comfort for him um, but it's this little nude and it's got like a little bunny with a little bunny tail which I just thought was absolutely adorable so I've got that for him to come home but I do need to check the size of this what size is this because I had a scan today and I think he's going to be like heavier like on the heavy seven pound um size seven and a half pounds uh, so I might have to take another outfit just in case because I'm nervous he's going to be a big baby and this won't fit him <laughs> so I've obviously got that it does have the little fold overs anyway for his hands um so you don't have to put the mitts on but I've got them just in case and then I also have this little welcome to the world sign I've got a bunch of these in his drawer for different milestones and things like that you can get these right off Amazon or Etsy or something like that um, but I can write on his name, his date, his weight and his height um, on there and obviously just kind of take his picture and announce him to the world. Um, so I've got that in there as well. So obviously, you know, it just saves, obviously these bags are so good because when someone says, oh, what do you want him to wear to go home? Like, boom, it's all in there. Everything is good to go. Got some PJs in here. So um, again, I just wanted some comfortable pyjamas um, for after I've given birth. Um, and then I've also got this nighty um 
I got this off Pretty Little Thing. It's just a short sleeve maternity nighty. Says mama on it, and I just thought this would be quite good to actually give birth because obviously you can undo the buttons and do skin to skin. Obviously, it's a nighty, so the midwife can obviously see the baby um, and things like that. So I thought this was really handy, and obviously, it's black as well, which is always good when you're giving birth. The last thing you want is a nice white nighty getting covered in all sorts. Um, and then I just got another pair of pajamas in there, just like some long sleeve pajama, long um, long leg pajamas. Um, and a short sleeve top just nice and loose because you just want to be comfortable so I've got those in there as well and then I think last but not least I feel like I'm forgetting something so I might have to go through my checklist okay so last but not least is my traveling home outfit for myself obviously I just wanted something super comfortable so I just picked up a tracksuit again just off pretty little thing um, but I picked up this oversized hoodie here and um, it just says self love club um well, that feels so funny um but yeah i just thought something that i can shot on obviously i don't know what the weather's going to be like i do have my oversized t-shirt and my leggings if it's a bit warmer if i want to be cozy then i've got this tracksuit so it just comes with the top like that um and then the joggers are just obviously the same um they just kind of go down um to like an open leg rather than a tight leg so literally i can't wait to wear this to be honest because it's the most comfortable thing um but yeah that's basically what i've packed obviously now michael needs to pack a few bits for himself um just kind of like you know <coughs> a change of clothes and um, something to wash obviously toothbrush and things like that so i'm going to get him to get that packed tonight um and then obviously the last thing you want to remember is your car seat we've got the doona this time so it's downstairs um with the baby's changing bag attached to it as well so in the baby's changing bag i've got like dodies um some more bibs some more nappies um some more cotton wool and things like that that's all in this changing bag so i will be taking that as well um, and then lastly is Aubin's little case. So what I've got in here for him is super basic. I just, you know, you might not even need to do this for your child. Obviously, if you've got a good family and you, you know that they're going to be looked after regardless. But for me, my personal preference, I just wanted to make sure he was sorted. So I've just put in um, some toys in this area. Some basic toys that he likes to play with um, is in there. I've put him a change of clothes. Um, some pyjamas and also his blanket that he normally sleeps with um, so his jammers, his clothes, blanket and some toys so just super basic but it just means that I can just grab this drop him off um, at my sister's when I'm going into hospital um, and he's going to be good to go and sorted as well so that is basically everything that I've packed. If I have forgotten anything, I will leave it in the description bar because I am going to go through, obviously, and make sure that I've got everything, but I just know because of my sweep today and the tightenings that I've been having, I just really wanted to get this film for you guys because I know a lot of you have requested it. Um, so that is everything that I'm taking this time around for my second baby. I'm so excited slash nervous, but I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling good vibes. Um, so if you are expecting your baby soon, you know, congratulations to you. You've absolutely got this mother we are made to do this we can do it come out the other side and obviously as soon as you hold your baby you'll forget all about it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i would love if you could like and subscribe and um, leave any comments that you can think of down below um obviously i love to read through and things like that and it really helps my engagement um but yeah that's everything for today's video and hopefully until next time um might be introducing your baby next time oh my god i don't know um and giving you a proper tour of his nursery obviously you can see a few snippets here um but yeah thank you so much for watching until next time i'll speak to you soon